Is our rent still increasing, or are we starting to finally see those go down a little? Some bit? of the high end has softened a little bit. Uh, I, th I think that's probably because some of those remote workers have gone back to work. But to be honest, the apartment rental vac vacancy rate remains very low. Mm -hmm. And I checked today, and I think it's probably lower than what mm -hmm. I show on this chart. So the problem is if they can't buy a house because for whatever reason, lack of affordability, lack of inventory, interest rates are too high, they're gonna rent. And that's going to keep the rental market strong. And without significant more supply into that rental market, I don't see how those rates will change a whole lot, particularly on the low end. I, I don't see how anyone can compete with that low end, maybe $1,500, $1,600 and less. There's just not enough of it. Mm -hmm. And as John mentioned, the Best Western uh, project out west of town, that's a LIHTC project is my understanding, which is low income housing mm -hmm. tax credit. And so those uh, units will be income restricted based on 30 to 60% of the uh, adjusted median income levels. So that will help a lot. I think there's about, a, I think they said there's about 140 of them. Mm, I think yeah. that's what that number is. So that's gonna have some impact and that's gonna help at that uh, very low end. Absolutely. Anything yes. you wanna add? No, Bob, uh, I think you explained it well. The, the, the whole reason the rental market is not going to see great reduction yet in, in what rents are and occupancy is gonna stay high is, you know, we don't have a lot of inventory to sell to the buyers that are now considering being buyers. Interest rates, of course, are high, the prices are high. So we're seeing a little less flow from a renter to an owner than we have seen in mm -hmm. the past. So they're gonna to have to keep uh, retain, uh, stay, stay as tenants for some period of mm -hmm. time. So it's unfortunate we see that, but that's, that's what we're up against. Now, a few uh, apartment projects are approved and in, in, in planning, but th that's not a cure anything in 2023. I mean, uh, there's a North Main project, probably will start construction at the end of the year. Uh, the 80, 87 units Bob mentioned by Home Depot, when that finishes, that should help. So as we see some of the inventory come on in apartment buildings, that will probably see some rate adjustments mm -hmm. overall across the community.